This is Matt Martin with Outdoor Designs. Uh, <clears throat> so, I primarily focus in renovating existing lawns or you know some some basic installation of lawns. Uh, pretty neat little deal going on today. Uh, we're going to be hydro seeding. Uh, I've never hydro seeded before. I'm a little bit familiar with the process, uh, but this is a type project that I would rather uh, subcontract this out to somebody else just because it's a it's a little bit out of my element uh, so if you look behind me here um, this property w had filled up with kudzu this retention basin here had filled up with kudzu and was displacing the amount of uh, the volume of water that could be held here um, there is a pipe down here where the water runs out um, but it couldn't keep up with the amount of water that, that was filling it because the kudzu was displacing so much of it and this wouldn't be a big deal but we've got this berm here and then directly on the other side of this is a house there is a house down here and if it were to overflow the top of this or if this berm would fail, uh, then this homeowner would be wrecked. So what I did was uh, I did an application of glyphosate and triclopyr. Um, and as far as common terms, uh, glyphosate is gonna be your Roundup varieties. Uh, triclopyr is going to be things like Turflon ester, uh, Garlon, uh, alligator those are kind of the big the big common names for it so uh, after an application of that it left you know next to nothing here and then we came in with uh, some machines and we scraped the surface uh, there's just a tad bit of kudzu coming up uh, but you know it, it was full of kudzu so now now we're down to next to nothing uh, so what we're going to be doing is hydro seeding a warm season native grass. Uh, we're going to use the blend. We're going to do just a tad bit of Bermuda, uh, some love grass, and we're also going to be using a uh, little blue stem. So these are all native to Tennessee. They tolerate even the worst of soil conditions. So we can blow it all on out here and uh, be able to get some vegetation. This is not going to be something that's maintained regularly or mowed so it doesn't have to be pretty. It has to serve a purpose. And one, hold the banks, and two, not displace too much volume. Uh, you can see in the bottom here, we ran the uh, geotextile erosion fabric uh, to prevent any wash out there at the bottom. Uh, that's been seeded with, uh, with fescue, so that'll do what it's gonna do mainly. It's just going to be used to, uh, you know, soak up some water there at the bottom and, and do a little filtering as uh, rock and sediment passes through. So, anyway, it's a neat project. We've actually, it, it looks bigger than it is because of the slopes and the height changes. It's only 14,000 square feet, so a little more than, uh, it's right at a third of an acre. So, you know, not a huge area, but uh, I got a guy coming in and I hope to get video of it later. He's got a... Uh, a 10 wheel truck with a 3,000 gallon tank on it and we're gonna pull in from the road right here and run a hose down here and get all this sprayed so anyway that's the project today Matt Martin Outdoor Designs we got the hydro seeding going on this is pretty powerful machine this is the craziest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> this is from a 30,000, I'm sorry, a 3,000 gallon tank. He is shooting that. Wow. 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 So we're wrapping up the hydro seating here. It is going super well. I don't think we could have asked for anything better than what we're getting here. Pretty incredible stuff. This is a serious, 
serious mission.